play a game so scary that you scream just from simply reading the title? Sons of the Forest? Son sons of who? Why are the trees having babies and why are they only men? Why are there no daughters of the forest? Nothing is scarier than the patriarchy because I for one only mildly enjoy sausages, so the idea of an entire sausage party would be rather unpleasant. Sons of the Forest is a highly anticipated sequel to The Forest, which I did not play because why would I pay for it and play a game about forests when I can just go to one in person? Blumel. After nine years, the developers finally added Sons to the title, and now that we got the boys involved, they have piqued my interest. You gonna make me act up. This game has truly got it all. When you open it, it scares the shit out of you. <laughs> it's got the forest, it's got the sand, it's got a cave with bats in it that scare the shit out of you. Ow, my ears. You can build a house. You can eat the flesh of your own kind, tainting your soul for eternity. You can work together as a team to defeat evil monsters lurking in the dark. You can enslave a disabled person. This game's got something for everyone to enjoy. It's Fucking Kelvin, bullshit, get it right. Holy shit. Sons of the Forest starts off much like any other story about forest, not in a forest. You are a soldier tasked with finding these missing people. An objective you will quickly forget about as your helicopter plummets to the ocean shore. In your panic, the only thing you can think about is how the last thing you did in your final final moment was all an effort to rescue rich white family 58 54 56 but you narrowly escape with your life and upon making it to the beach you are greeted with a boot in your mouth which i'm sure is normal for a soldier with a tattoo that says fight on their wrist then the person that presumably is responsible for shooting your helicopter down decides not to kill you despite the fact they're trying to kill you by shooting your helicopter the game is already off to a great start story wise and we haven't even entered the forest yet suddenly mitosis you're on the beach of almost dead idiots you meet kelvin whose name you'll never remember but that's okay because he's dead kelvin get you logs at all costs and he rarely sleeps and he oh, stops at nothing to do what you need him to. That's Zoloft, whatever his fucking name is. Even if he doesn't understand what you need him to do. This motherfucker, I told him to get logs and he and he runs over here to pick up a log from inside the base and now he's taking it out. And with those okay, logs, sorry, we built a wall, closing off the beach from the monsters looking to destroy our home. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm figuring out how to play this game, bro. So <laughs> But if we're closing off access to the beach for everyone except us, doesn't that make us the real monsters? Can yeah. the scary people come to us? Yes. From the water? That's why I want to block us off. Term, okay, they're called natives. <gasps> You're being disrespectful, okay? They're native to the island. Dude, they're yeah. fucking monsters, dude. Oh, whoa. The, we came to their peaceful island and we're breaking their trees, building a wall, and, and they're the monsters? Speaking of the real monsters, I haven't introduced you to the menaces that randomly appeared on this island. We have King Kai, the disorganized and psychotic leader of the pack. We have Carrie, the disorganized and psychotic lover of ch- There's Parwaz, just a guy who wants to have fun. Arrest my case. The wonderful Fi, Counter-Strike caster slash commentator and Yu-Gi-Oh master. Two traits that do not benefit anyone trapped on an island. And then there's Graphite. We have a couple more gamers joining us later, but let's get back to it for now. But what do you do in Sons of the Forest? Oh! Yeah, you do. Guys, the wind is strong here. Do you survive the forest or do you survive the forest suns? <laughs> I don't know because the entire time I was playing, I had no idea what I was doing. You want my rocks? Here, take my rocks, Gary. I don't want your rocks. Are you sure? If they're chopping wood, I'm grabbing it. If they're running, I'm following. China. If they're getting killed by a monster, I'm sitting back and not helping. Uh, most of this game has been making jokes about wooden logs. If I wasn't making obscure jokes that only a fraction of people would find ironically funny. Anybody want to get boned? If I had uh, three things to bring to an island, I'd bring a toilet paper. I'd bring a dishwasher. Like an entire dishwasher. I'm gonna power that on. What? And then I would bring, I'd bring probably a toilet. You're gonna connect it to plumbing. What? I have a map pack game theory that Sons of the Forest is not actually about the forest or any of their sons at all. There are these secret trapdoors that hint at the game not being about the forest, but about something else entirely. Like who made these cubes of bacon? There's no way these monsters had the means to design and craft such sophisticated pieces of charcuterie. They can hardly craft a functioning tent. There are these papers that are somehow unscathed after being on the floor in the damp depths of the caves, and they probably tell us stuff, but I'm deaf like Kirkland, so I can't read. I just think it's a little silly to make the game about the forest and then all the lore pieces don't involve the forest. It should be called Sons of the Island. There's also this girl who has three legs and three arms, but I think they would have mentioned something about the girl we are searching for having three arms and legs, so she doesn't seem very important. Especially when I swam all the way out to the sea nipple for a gun. When I gave it to her, she immediately lost it. She's got the fucking gas. Speaking of losing things, Kellogg lost his fucking mind and destroyed the entire treehouse setup we had, which we immediately punished him for. 
He did not learn his lesson at all, and for the next four hours continued to annoy us by not actually cutting down trees and going out of his way to make it harder for us to get wood. Dude, Kelvin is fucking back to ruining our logs. Stop it, you piece of shit. Stop it. Using discipline in the hopes he'd figure it out was asking for too much. He was simply too determined to ruin our day. Where to go if this fucking Kelvin guy is, he takes the log from down here and, and picks them up. He's, he's literally about to do that. Chloe, kill, kill Kelvin before he before he, he fucking okay, destroys our lives. Understood, 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 understood. And I simply had I enough of his bullshit up. after he oh, literally he revived himself. Oh, I need to teach him a lesson. Yeah, should. Stay down. Back, how? Dude. Stay dead, bro. Stay dead. I've had enough. I've had enough of him, Chloe. We have to. We have to resort to drastic measures. Stand back, Chloe. Where the fuck is But we took it too far. Cactus never got back up. We were all devastated, too in shock to even muster any of the most simple of emotions. Me and Chloe did this, so we made out to set things right. We trucked Celsius's body to the nearest body of water. We couldn't let him rot away and land like the wood that fell before him. We had to set him off right. We had one last chance to show him our regret, our guilt, our humanity. We had to give him a proper goodbye. He was an honorable it's man. It's what Kellen would have done for he, us. He did everything he could to, to get us that wood. Even even when it was right next to him, we told him to drop it here, and that's what he did every single time. He was he was resilient to say the least. He was a he was a good man. He really was. Like graphite, that's inappropriate. But every every soldier has to have its final send off. And Kelvin, you were a good soldier. Everyone stand back as as we say a final goodbye to Kelvin. Goodbye, soldier. Get him back in the water. <laughs> he's, he's gone. He's floating away. Wait, Goodbye. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we kept exploring caves in the hopes of finding the suns and maybe even the forest if we got lucky. Check that Holy shit. Whoa. Holy Whoa. But every time we found one, the game made less sense. Like, what the hell? This isn't a forest. Is this a sun, though? I can't even begin to describe how many things are wrong with this chessboard. We're getting closer, but this is also not quite a forest either, I think. You do not cash money. Whoa. This is the same fucking chessboard with the same queen that can't be in the middle of the board. That's an illegal move. Kai is Gandalf, and we're all the hobbits. You look like a massive fucking names. nerd right now. <laughs> I love saying. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you're fucking lord of the empty lunch table, that's where you are. <laughs> we trekked far and wide, climbed a mountain, and sled back down at the speed of sound. We got chased by giant oh red God. babies. But like, what are we doing this for? We already found the three missing people. He turned into a long boy. I assumed that with every cave, we just had to piece together the lore slowly. But then we advanced far enough into the story, the and these fuck? people just appeared in like a random cutscene. Who the fuck are these people? How did they get here before us and we never noticed? Why are they here? What is going on? Why am I looking at market stocks? Why am I in a child's bedroom? Why am I just able to open this door to hell? Why am I lighting I demons on fire? What is this box? Why are these people here again? What is this countdown for? Are we supposed to be friends? What in the cyberpunk fuck is going on? Ah! How the fuck did we get out? Jump. You should jump. <laughs> oh okay, Jerry. Gosh, <laughs>